I just finished 3D printing an airless basketball from PA6 carbon fiber reinforced nylon filament. Because it was nylon, I had to print this filament a lot slower than I had the other filaments that I've tried in the past. I also went with a single lattice file instead of the double lattice because the double lattice had a lot of delicate parts and if it was going to survive any test, it was going to be with a thicker single lattice. A few of you were saying to even try the regular nylon or glass infused filament first, but since I had some of this carbon fiber filament laying around, I decided to give this a shot. After the ball was done printing, I decided to anneal the ball in the oven. So the first thing I did was put the ball in a metal bucket, poured sand around it to make sure that there weren't any weird warping or anything like that, just mostly to reinforce the ball. And then I put the ball and everything in the oven at 90 degrees Celsius. I ended up just doing 200 degrees Fahrenheit for over six hours. Next, I washed the basketball off with some water and just let it sit in ambient air for a few days. And this is what it looks like after everything's all said and done. We're now ready to put it on the scale and just see how much it weighs before we do any drop or bounce testing. And it ended up weighing about 648.5 grams. The basketball held up pretty well for the first two drop tests, but as soon as I moved over from a drop test to an actual bounce, it ended up cracking the ball. And then once I tried to bounce the ball a second time, it just ended up splitting in half. So there you go, not very promising results so far with a nylon based filament. Maybe if I tried the glass infused or just regular nylon, I'd have different results, but I'd like to just try and focus on some of the more flexible filaments. I have PEBA and some 98A TPU basketballs that I'll be printing soon. Let me know if you think I should try any other nylon filaments or if there was something I could have done differently that would have made the results even better. We have some pretty promising filaments coming up that we're gonna give a try so be sure to like share and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future videos and like usual I'll see you in the next one